Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing you a tool called the Edge Loop, which can be found under your toolbar, Polygon, and then just Edge Loop. Um, so for this example, I'm going to be showing you how to use it on a plane, but the principle is the same. Um, if you were to create a box, sphere, tube, torus, um, grid, or any kind of geometry. The principle is technically the same. So for uh, this uh, grid that I'm using for a sail, um, so for the sail, I had to edit so to make it look like this triangle shape. But then I need, you know, to re-add the columns and uh, rows so it can, you know, have that more cloth look when I add FX to it. But as after the edit and then I re-add or make more columns and rows, it kind of distorts or disrupts the object itself and doesn't look like what I need it to look like or what you may need it to look like. Um, so instead of, you know, having the object with predefined rows and columns and, you know, manually going and, you know, redefining each point to get it to where you need, that can take time. And uh, it can be very frustrating to, to read. So instead, let's go back here. I made, uh, re made my object to what I need it to look like. And then up in the edge loop, I will create the edge loop. And from here, I will ma uh, create the column and rows myself without, you know, distorting the object itself. Um, so when I hit edge loop, it creates this uh, polysphere node. And inside this node, um, there's a whole bunch, not a whole lot, but that's some useful uh, uh, settings. Um, so first of all, uh, in the path type, you got short distance and edge loop. So uh, so with the edge loop, I have a uh, number of loops. So this will help you determine how many loops um, you want. So like there's four, here's eight predetermined loops. Um, you have a match profile, which, uh, you know, will shrink and expand from the right to the left um, or, you know, top to bottom. Um, and then you switch profile will, this one will, you know, left to right expand or bottom to top expand um yeah that's uh actually pretty pretty useful um so for this uh you know just add 10 and as i click and add 10 as you can see i can't go and add another one from the same node i would have to go you know add another node to add you know more subdivisions and stuff like that. Um, you can also, if you use your scroll wheel, um, will increase the, uh, the snap. So edge snap um, will help you if you're trying to, you know, let's say get it to snap in a certain position. If you lightly glide over on this blue line, and hit that dot, it will snap it to it to give you that concreted you know, place to go, which can be useful in, you know, certain situations. Um, now, if we go back to this path type and click short distance, um, this will, instead of creating the predefined uh, edge loop, uh, you can create your own custom ones. So right now, this little where my cursor's at, is where the destination of the uh, first edge loop will go. And see how it just creates the one and doesn't connect it? I will need to, you know, go and reconnect and define where I want these loops to go. And then all I would have to do is just hit, you know, this another button to deselect the edge loop. And I now have a pre-custom edge loop. So 
when you get to the times, like uh, so on this ship base, I still have it, yeah, where I have two points that aren't connected, I can go and add a edge loop, go to short distance, and now I can click here and click there, and now I have connected two points together. Um, which, and depending on your situation, will be very, very useful. Um, so yeah, uh, the principle is the same. Uh, like I said, for creating a box, you know, sphere, any kind of geometry, the principle is the same. Um, yeah, it just makes it look very nice using edge loops, so you don't get that, you know, weird, uh, kind of odd geometry-ish distortion um yeah we don't want that we want it to look really nice and stuff like that uh, so yeah that's uh that's about it um if you have any questions uh just leave some in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye